welcome everybody for another update on Bitcoin. Scary, scary time. The last 24, 48 hours, very, very big correction from 70,000 to almost $60,000. 10,000 drop is in just a few hours for Bitcoin. The scariest thing I have seen so far in my investing career in Bitcoin. But it's not fun to see your portfolio drop in value like crazy, like in the last few hours. But it comes with the territory. You need to be aware of what's going on. Bitcoin will do its thing. And what did I do this morning? Buy the dip. I have that much conviction on Bitcoin to allow me to do this, even though it's not fun to see the numbers right now from our portfolio. The drop is important. It scared a lot of people. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have sold maybe out of fear just to save capital. I don't know what are your reasons, but 10,000 drop is not a Monday or Tuesday for Bitcoin. This is quite significant, but as we will see in the charts, if you see the big picture, we're still okay. So yeah, $10,000 drop in the last few hours from 70,000 to yeah, 60,500. I have never seen that since I started investing in Bitcoin. You just have to deal with it. So I bought some Bitcoin today. I'm probably going to buy some tomorrow. I also bought Solana and Jupiter. Those were my buys. Oh, and Milady Mean Coin. Those were my buys today. Those are my main assets for 2024 and 2025. So that's why I bought the dip. A lot of them corrected heavily and I wanted to take the opportunity to grab some at these levels. So this is the one hour chart that allows us to see that drop. We see that we got a dead cross on the one hour and we're falling. I believe the correction is done in my opinion. We're gonna bounce back. How quickly, how fast are we going back to 70,000? No idea, but I know the Bitcoin will do its thing. Fear was everywhere in the market. Everyone and everything sold off. So only the people who do not panic and stay calm will be rewarded. For those of you who sold, it's understandable, but you'll probably get back at a higher price. So just keep that in mind. So if we look at the daily chart for Bitcoin, we are at the ME200 on the daily chart. That's why we stopped there. That is the support right now, near 62,000. The MA50 is correcting and catching up to that MA200. Once the MA200, sorry, the MA50 is dropping to catch up with the price. And eventually the MA50 will be below the price and will act as support and momentum to help the price go back. Technically, we are still in that trading range between 62,000 and 72,500 that we see here in the chart. The MA200 stopped the fall. That's why I believe that the correction is pretty much done. That's why, that's why I bought at this level. Chances of further correction are there, but with lower percentages, in my opinion, not financial advice. So we need to keep focus on what may come in the future for Bitcoin. Bitcoin has always done parabolic move or start a parabolic move around this period after the halving. It's been true for the last two cycles and somehow same thing for the first cycle, even though it's kind of a weird cycle when Bitcoin was created. So keep that in mind. But the last two cycles have been clear and that's why you need to stay in the market. If not, you will miss the boat on this, parab on this parabolic move. We don't know how high we will go, when exactly will that happen, but you need to be in the market. I highly suggest to keep your coins, avoid leverage. A lot of people got wrecked with leverage in the last day, two days, three days, you have to be extremely careful. I want to keep my coins and decide myself when to sell, when to buy. That's why I do not touch leverage, especially with crypto. That's my opinion. 
not financial advice again. So the correction, in my opinion, was important, but it's almost done or done completely. That's why I got in. And like always, I believe that Bitcoin will do its thing. On the weekly, the structure has not failed. We are at the support, like I mentioned, of 62,000. We are in that trading range and we're due for a bounce. That's what I expect. The bull run is halfway through and we are at the beginning of the supposedly exponential phase that I believe will come for the end of the year of 2024 and will probably end in the summer of 2025. So we still have a full year of push upward in price for Bitcoin. I know that the macro level or macro news are not that great at this time, but I truly believe that history of previous cycles will repeat again this year and we will have our exponential phase. Just be ready. Just be patient. I haven't seen my portfolio this low in a very, very long time. So I know it's discouraging, but it's part of investing. You need to learn about it, live it. And that's the most important thing because you don't know how you're going to react when you see the price drop like that. A 10,000 drop doesn't happen that often in Bitcoin. So I live through it. Now we're going to bounce back and see if we get a quick 10,000 pump right back to 70,000. We will see. So just keep that in mind. Stay cool, stay calm. My conviction towards Bitcoin has not changed. Therefore, I was able to buy back at this level and be patient and see what happens for the next months, especially until the end of the year. Hopefully, we will be much, much higher at that time. I hope you enjoyed this video. The subscribers have been piling up on our channel. We're over 600 subscribers right now. I'm extremely happy charging towards 1,000 slowly but surely. But I think a lot of you extract value from what I say in these videos. But today it's a humble analysis of what's going on with Bitcoin and a toleration of the volatility of this powerful asset. You have to live it. To be able to tolerate it and then enjoy the gains that will happen in the future not financial advice but that's what i'm expecting and i truly believe we will see very soon see you all in the next video ciao